Okay, this is today's video of a house that is very close to the beach. Clearwater Beach is two streets back that way. It takes you about a, probably about a minute and a half, two minutes to walk to the sand. And uh, this is the featured house of the day because it's the best priced home on the beach by far for the size and condition. And it's got one bonus feature which I'll speak about as well. You see the roof is in good condition. It's only about seven or eight years old. The house itself is solid block. Uh, brick, surrounded by brick along the bottom. There's no construction problems, anything to worry about in that regard. It's about as solid as it comes. So, obviously that's brick. The windows um, are good. They're in good shape. They're tight, but uh, somebody may want to upgrade those into the new Hurricane Code windows, which would save a lot on energy. I'm going to swing around here, give you a look at the yard because I have the side door open. So let's head down here and you can see the carport on the side of the home. You could easily get uh, uh, four, five, six cars in here because if you pulled all the way up to the fence where the backyard is, what a nice feature. Again, you can see the exterior of the home and see that uh, and hear that solidity of how they built these homes back in the 50s. Step up here into the kitchen. That's the dining room table now. Uh, the floor is all tiled. You can see that's in good shape. Kitchen cabinets in very good shape. There's your kitchen. Stove's a little older, may, may, may need to be replaced, but not a big expense. Uh, everything is move-in ready. Now this house does come f fully furnished. So then look at that lovely little kitchen table. Uh, this would probably cost you about ten grand to have to put in what's already in this house. It's a, a very, very nice antique uh, dining room set. And this is the family slash dining area, living room area, whichever, whatever you'd want to do with it. There's a lot you could do with this house. But take a look at the wood floor. This is a, this is a wonderful, wonderful wood floor. There's a nice Chinese rug, Persian rug. And uh, nothing wrong with this floor at all. If you wanted to actually brighten it up and polish it, you could. It's, I believe, original. Good sofa. And uh, we've textured painting on the walls because the wall the screen coverings there, and your front door. Uh, if you open up the front door, if I can do that, it may be jammed at the moment. There we go. If you open up the front door, you actually have a little bit of a um, view. A bit of a view of the water down there. You can't see it, and I'm unable to zoom in. There's a very, very quiet street, as you can see, a very, very quiet neighborhood, and just steps away from the beach. This up. I'm gonna make this video too long. Again, everything solid, good working condition. And let's head back into the guest bathroom and bedrooms. Again, all wood floor leading back into that. I'm going to give you a sweep of that area again. Dining room, living room, kitchen back there. And this is the bathroom, which is in very, very good shape, very clean. See the tub, scrubbed tub, good tile. Now, a lot of people don't like the uh, old look of this tile. Uh, all the colors, and this isn't too bad, this is a neutral tile, but the blue, for example, you'll find some blues and pinks in, in these bathrooms, and there's actually a company in Clearwater that does a refinishing, they've got some technique where they refinish these uh, types of things um, with, with uh, painting and um, some type of special coating that they're able to put over it, and they can restore it from being old pink or blue to a nice bright white or neutral color for you 
which would make it uh, kind of look like you got a brand new bathroom, but it'll save you thousands and thousands of dollars. This is the one little guest room. It's got a lot of stuff in it right now, and it's dark in here because of the window covering. Well, I guess I could put the light on. You don't have to be a genius to be a realtor. That gives you a little kind of a, an extra room there. And people like to see in closets big storage. A lot of storage. Very deep. And we'll move back here to the second bedroom, which is a good size. Closets back there, there's some shelving. Of course, these personal items and um, the piano, I believe, and probably some other items will be excluded from the sale of the home. But the bedding and the couches and general furniture, and there's a wicker dresser and that type of thing are going to be included in the sale, which is already at the remarkable price of $349,000. Uh, and this house is worth over $700,000 in 2005. This is a family sitting area. Again, a lot you could do with this. This part is carpeted in a heavy verba carpet. It's in pretty good shape. Could be replaced if you wanted, obviously, fairly easily. Or wood could be added, or tile could be added back here. No problem. And uh, there's some nice furnishings. There's a very nice screen sofa right there. Uh, this is wood cabin, uh, wood um, paneling. And it's not the cheap wood paneling, this is actually solid wood. And there's your entertainment center area. So as you can see, you could leave it like this for a while if you're running it out, or you could actually tear this whole room up and redo it into a game room, pool room, family room, sitting room, whichever you prefer. Uh, this is I can, a little add-on to that, just a little area to sit out near outside and it's too hot to maybe go out and that's all tiled in. That's a wood frame add-on to the home. It just gives you a little bit of extra air-conditioned space where you could sit and kind of make a little retreat spot. You could actually put a door in here if you wanted to. Um, then onto the master suite. nice large room. Again, the furniture is extremely acceptable and very good quality. And this is interesting when you come out. There's a very nice area out here. And this is uh, part of this. Of course, again, you don't have to be a genius to be a realtor because I can never find lights. But, let's see, there you go. Okay, so this is the actual toilet area sink, which you can see is all nice and clean. That's pretty much nothing has to be done there unless you wanted to put on a fancier countertop. Um, medicine cabinet, old style medicine cabinet, which are pretty cool. Gives you a lot of space, unlike the crammed ones that you buy nowadays. And then this is the shower area. You can see there's brand new doors on that shower. Aluminum. And open it up. Gives you an idea of the amount of space that you have. Once again, that uh, company that refinishes and refaces could uh, do great works on the inside of that shower if you wanted it to be completely spruced up. Okay, so that's the master bedroom and bathroom area once again. This gives you a good, good view. You just roll out of bed in the morning and you get to shower waiting right there and roll out here for breakfast. So this gives you a little bit of a different dimension as I walk back. As you can see the size of this place. Three bedrooms and then all of this, living room back there, kitchen there, and then of course this room that we're in and 
I'm going to attempt to go out of the back door. Oh, that worked. This is the backyard. Just need some cleanup and maybe redesign. There's a deck here right now. A uh, little bit of vision. You can see that there's plenty of space for a pool. You've got quite a bit of space between the house and the uh, back fence and the property line. Uh, you could either leave this foliage in here or you could trim it down or take it out. You could pull the deck out and uh, you'd have plenty of space to pave this area and put a nice pool. It's very private. You can see the neighbors back there, but all you can see is the um, tops of their homes. So you can come out here, sunbathe and so on and be completely left alone in privacy. Of course, the area, once again, you might notice while I'm videotaping outside, you haven't heard a vehicle. Now, this is the one of the keys to this home and why it's so special is because it has an apartment that is attached to the house and grandfathered in. They don't do this anymore. This has a separate entrance. You can't get into this from the house and you can't get into the house from this. And this is what the apartment looks like. And this can be rented out separately. And records will show that this is brought in a good nine to ten thousand dollars a year without too much difficulty. This is the kitchen. It's a lot of storage for a small place. And it's kind of uh, illusionary in that it looks bigger than it is. So this is your whole kitchen area. And once again, I'm sure we have some lights that I could turn up. Let me give you a full scope. There we go. There's your uh, stove. The tops, see everything's in good solid shape. There's your venting. Awful lot of storage space for a single person or a couple maybe that would like to either come down here for a few months out of the year or somebody that has a job close to the beach and might want to rent it out. And this is the room. And look at the, uh, has a separate air conditioning unit. But it really doesn't take too much to heat up this kind of, uh, or to cool down this, this kind of space. There are two outside air conditioning units in here. And it's a king size bed. So it gives you an idea of the size of the room. Because I can go over here and you've still got another four feet going into the walk in closet. Which, as you can see, is a really nice size. I can walk in. <coughs> it's about six feet in here six feet across, or maybe five by six. You see an idea of the size of the shelves there, looking at the paint. There's really nothing you have to do in here once again in order to rent it out. Uh, and this is the bathroom. There's your countertops, everything's clean. mode. More lights. Look at that. Now there's one of your green tile that I was talking about, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but if you'd like a nice bright white tile, again, I do have the number of the company that does this refinishing, and I'm uh, going to be joining with them, hopefully, and have them on my team as people to do business with the clients that want to reface and not have to replace so let's give another scan around before we finish this up. It's getting excessively long. I usually try and take a three or four minute video. This is 14, but I know somebody that really wanted to have a good look at this. So this is your apartment, and it's uh, it's wonderful. Head out again. This is the view from outside of it. You see how nice and clean and bright and airy it is once you get in there and then you come back out and you know without doing anything with the backyard right now you can come out here sit out on the back porch have a have a uh, barbecue on the um, patio with the, the deck back here and it's really really peaceful and quiet. It's uh, 
you're looking for a lot of noisy neighbors and kids and so on, you're just not going to find that here. And again, look at the space that you have. That's one car back there. You could easily get another four in front of that. So, thanks for watching. And if you'd like to make an offer on this property or see it, give me a call, Gavin, at 727-564-2488. Or email me anytime, gmcgrath at gmail.com. I work with the Tom Smith team on at Keller Williams, Gulfside, on Clearwater Beach in Florida. And uh, we can handle any and all of your real estate needs. So have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.